Hey, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today my client got a um, retouch relaxer on her short hair. And we are actually going to be adding some emphasis and just doing a little bit of highlights in her crown. I decided to use the frosting cap method, which you can use this method on short hair or you can also use the regular foiling method or you can just freehand it. I decided to do the frosting cap only because I just wanted it to have that, that not so um, placed look. Now, she only did a retouch relaxer, so I am actually only going to be doing um, the frosting to basically all of the free ends of her hair, right? Now, I'm not saying you can't do relaxer and color in the same day, you definitely can, but once again, make sure that this is done by a professional, guys. I do not recommend doing any type of chemical services at home. This is more for just reference and educational purposes so you guys can actually see what some possibilities are, you know, just to kind of enhance your look a little bit. Now, I did her relaxer earlier this morning. Um, the lightener that I'm using is the Pure Light Cream Lightener, which is a coconut oil based lightener that does also help with protecting the hair. Um, and just it's a gentle lightener and then of course I'm doing it with a low and slow method so I used a very low volume developer to do this why because the hair is already porous it won't need any 30 and 40 and sometimes not even 20 volume um, to do this and she'll actually lift within about one to five minutes guys so this is like I said something that I do not recommend doing at home whatsoever um, most manufacturers don't even, you know, stress using it on relaxed hair whatsoever because relaxed hair is already porous, but my client comes to me every two weeks faithfully. Her hair is in great condition. That is the reason why, um, we decided to just get a little emphasis on her hair by adding a couple highlights. So what I'm doing right now is pulling through, um, the hair that I'm going to highlight I'm also combing through the hair because what happens is when you're using the little needle, it sometimes likes to pull some of the hair and not all of the hair. So I used the little comb just to make sure that everything was detangled, um, everything was in place, that kind of thing. And I didn't have any um, loops or gnats or, or mats or anything anywhere um, in the hair that I'm actually going to be covering with lightener. So once you are done with the frosting portion or pulling through the hair for the frosting portion, um, at this point, it's kind of like a waiting game. So for her, she just wanted a mixture of honey blonde with a very, very, um, I'm not going to say a, a high lift blonde, like a very bright blonde um, or white, but I'm going to give her a mixture of the two. But I actually am not trying to give her a mixture of the two but because i know that her hair is already porous it sometimes happens that way which is i don't want to say it happens by accident but sometimes it does so it comes out really really pretty but like i said this is something that i highly recommend this is only done by a professional guys keep this in mind that you are really you really have to know what you're doing when you're doing stuff like this so that's the reason why I use the cream lightener because it is a more gentle lightener. Um, I don't use things like BW, that kind of stuff. I really call those liquid lightener cracks um, because they'll lighten anything. But I wanted to make sure that I was also protecting the hair and just some added insurance. That's the reason why I use the cream lightener versus the powder lightener. So it looks like cottage cheese, but it is a very gentle lightener and it protects the hair. It leaves the hair nice and shiny and it does not dry out the actual cuticle, which is exactly what I was going for. When you have a relaxer, you, the worst thing you can do is just create an environment for added dryness. So if you notice, her hair is actually already turning or changing or lifting. Um, why? Because it's porous, guys. And it's not even because I just relaxed her. I only relaxed her new growth, which was less than a quarter of an inch. So we've already molded her and dried her. Um, I'm using a little bit of the Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum just to add some more shine to the hair to, you know, create that luster and just make it look very, very pretty <laughs> at the end of the day. And also as an added heat protector as well. 
So you guys will get to see her color in just a moment. Um, but I am going to be using my half inch flat iron to curl her. And then I'll be using the one inch H2 Pro to curl her as well. So I want you guys to take note of her mold. I always say mold your client in the direction that you plan on styling her. So she is molded exactly how we're going to style her. With this time, we're not going to do a lot of curl. Um, we really were just kind of giving her a bump. But for the sides and the back, I always kind of do what we call a slide curl because I know that that area goes flat very, very quickly. So if you give that slide curl, it will still give her the illusion, even when it goes flat, that she has some sort of curl, guys. I never leave the area flat on my clients. Only because, guess what? If you come to the salon, you need to look like you actually came to the salon. Okay? Okay. So you guys can just kind of watch the process. And then you'll get a chance to see the finished product of our highlighting in the front and on her crown. And then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave um, a thumbs up behind before you go. And then if you've ever gotten any type of color service, that kind of thing, or maybe you were thinking about getting a color service and you like this color service, comment down below. Give me some of your feedback. Let me know what you've done to your hair. Um, and then other than that, guys, don't forget to check out all the other videos on my channel. Okay. Oh, and just an added reminder, any type of... Um, products that you guys hear me mention that is an elite product you actually can save 15% off by using code youtube and going to my website which is elitehaircareusa.com okay kudos
okay guys so we have finally reached the area of where we had our frosting done on her hair if you notice um, her hair is actually what we call a honey brown um, with a little bit of blonde in there as well now i toned her after i did her lightening process because i didn't want too much orange in there and as um, when we have, when we're working with like level one, level two, level three type hair, which is black, brown, um, typically you pull more orange or copper because you have to deal with the underlying pigments. So I actually made that work for her because she didn't want a high lift color. Um, and then I went back and toned her with a darker brown just to kind of tone it down just a little. And I also used a little bit of no orange shampoo by, I think it's by Fanola. Um, to get rid of some of that brassiness or copper or orange, which is what most people would describe it as. So it really worked out really, really well. I actually loved the way her hair came out. She loved it. I loved it. Everyone in the salon was like, oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. And I'm actually using the flat iron on 325 degrees just to flat iron the front of her hair. Why? Because guys, keep in mind, this is a color service on relaxed hair. So you can't really use a lot of high heat. And then I want you guys to also take note of her root area. So if you look at her roots, it has a beautiful feathering. It doesn't have a hard line. And that's the reason why I try to stay away from foiling short hair, because I want it to just look um, unplaced, more natural, more like a flow, instead of just foiling it out and just giving her the typical weave or something like that. So that was the reason why I used the frosting cap. So for my stylists out there, not because the frosting cap seems a little old school, it still has a great effect on short hair. So definitely use it to your advantage and it allows you to do multiple colors if wanting without having to try to differentiate and foil out this and foil out that. You can actually do that right through the frosting cap. So definitely try it out, my fellow stylists. My fellow professionals, you guys know I'm only talking to the professionals for that one. But this is an option to you guys who are clients or maybe you want some emphasis in your hair. You don't have to be as um, bold as hers. You can actually taper it down. So don't ever think that color has to be, always be very bold. You can cater it to your lifestyle and your outlook on how you want your hair, guys. So definitely use this for emphasis next time when you decide that you want to add some spunk to your shortcut. Ask for a frosting service, ask for some highlights, ask for something like that, and just pick out the color that is best for your skin tone. All right, my beauties, thank you guys once again for watching, and once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. Be easy.